Hi there, I'm Ben and in this video I'll be looking at all of the Easy Platinums that were released for the PS4 in January 2019. This is a brand new series that I'm starting and if it proves popular enough I'll continue doing it every month. So the reason I'm making these videos is to highlight the lesser known games that get released every month. I don't know about you but after a long stressful game like Red Dead 2 sometimes I just want to bump my trophy count up with something quick and easy. I know some people look down on and avoid easy games like these and that's fine, there are definitely games I've avoided in the past. Not many, but some. I am proud to say I never did do the Hannah Montana game. But then by the same token, I know that there are some people that only play easy games like these and that's fine too. Those players will love this list. Let's take a look. The first easy platinum of 2019 was Nubla 2. Well, for those of us in UK and Spain it was anyway. By the time you watch this, it should have been released worldwide. Nubla 2 is the sequel to Nubla, or World of Nubla as it was re-released as. Nubla is kind of infamous for how quick and easy it is, only clocking in at about an hour. The sequel is slightly longer, it'll probably take you about 3 hours to get the platinum if you're following a guide. Maybe a bit longer if you try and work out the puzzles for yourself. There was quite a bad problem with glitches when it released, but I believe they've all been cleared up now. The game does contain three missable trophies, but if you're aware of them beforehand, you shouldn't have much of a problem. I do have a guide on my channel if you feel like you may need one. I believe Suicide Guy Sleeping Deeply isn't a sequel, it's more of a continuation of the original. It does have a separate trophy list and its own platinum, however. Suicide Guy is about a guy that falls asleep and needs to wake himself up, and the only way he can do this is by killing himself. You do this by completing physics based puzzles from a first person perspective across 6 stages. The trophy list is short, but a good one, there are only 12 trophies, 1 platinum and 11 gold. There are collectibles in the game, but only 6 of them, and they take up 3 of the 11 gold trophies. As I'm recording this, the current completion rate average on PSN profiles stands at 85%, so I think it's safe to say that this one is not going to cause you any problems. Pick a Picks Pieces is a puzzle game, it looks like a strange mix between paint by numbers and a crossword. The platinum for this one is really easy, like a 2 out of 10, but it is going to take you some time. You need to complete 354 puzzles, and that's going to take you about 20 hours. So yeah, I think it might be best to break this one up over a few weeks to alleviate boredom. The individual puzzles are part of a larger picture, like a mosaic, and there's 20 of those in total. This is a cross-buy game, so you will get both the PS4 and Vita versions, and they do have individual trophy lists. Also, there are separate lists for both the EU and US, so 4 Platinums in total, but that's a lot of puzzles you'll need to complete. Vane is the first game from a new 5-man development team known as Friend and Foe. It's billed as a puzzle adventure game, personally I think it looks like a cross between Journey, Limbo and Rhyme, which is great, as they're all amazing. You play as a bird that can transform into a child, which is how the description of the game words it. You would think it'd be the other way around. Vane is one of the more expensive indies to be released this month. It should only take you about 2 or 3 hours to get the platinum. So that's £18 for a 2 hour indie title. This game really does need to be the next journey for that price. Planet Rix or RIX 13 is a 2D side scrolling adventure game. Graphically something about it reminds me of Commander Keen. Well that's not a fair comparison because Keen looked a lot better and that was nearly 30 years ago. Riggs is a ridiculously short platinum clocking in about 30 minutes. There are 10 missable trophies for this one, but with it being such a short game, going back and mopping any up should not be a problem. The game does have 4 separate trophy lists, the usual 4 EU and US, both of PS4 and Vita, but it's not cross by so you will have to buy the game 4 times if you want all 4 of them. Heroes Trials is the latest game from Rattalika Games, a publisher with a reputation for making quick and easy platinums. There seems to be a new one from them every few weeks. Heroes Trials is a very basic top-down adventure game in the same vein as the old style Zelda games, but obviously it's nowhere near as good. Again, this is another one you can get through in about half an hour, you don't actually have to finish the game to get the platinum either. If you would like to use a guide for this game, I have one on my channel. Jack Quest The Tale of the Sword is yet another 2D side-scrolling pixel art adventure game that's only going to take you about an hour. This one doesn't actually look too bad, it does look like your typical metroidvania style of game, but if done correctly they can be quite fun. 
The trophy list is pretty simple, there are a few that pertain to collecting certain things in the game, and a few for beating certain bosses in the game without taking any damage, and that's it really. There are two separate lists for this one, EU and US, no Vita versions though. Drowning is the last easy platinum this month. It's actually a walking simulator, they seem to be everywhere a couple of years ago, but they have fallen off recently. I know they're not to everybody's liking, but if done well they can be quite relaxing experiences. They definitely need to have interesting stories though, they usually don't have much else going on. Drowning is an exceptionally short one, taking only 30 minutes. That seems to be the common time this month. The game is actually even shorter than 30 minutes, that's your platinum time. There are 4 endings you'll need to see and you can pretty much just skip your way through the game. That's skip as in avoid playing, not skip as in gleefully prancing around. The game does have 4 stackable trophy lists, but you'll have to buy each version separately. At £2.50 that's not too bad though. And that's it, those were all of the easy games that were released for the PS4 and Vita in January 2019. Please let me know if you like this video and I'll continue doing one each month. Please like and subscribe and all that nonsense. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.